Welcome to PLC Basic Tutorial, using RS500 Logix software. Welcome on our second episode of PLC Basic Programming Tutorial. In this video, we will feature Timer Instruction. What is Timer Instructions in PLC Program? Timer is a PLC instruction that waits a set of amount of time, before done something. There are three types of timer. Timer on delay, or T on. Timer off delay, or T off. And retentive timer on, or RTO. Ok, let's make a PLC program using time on delay timer. Let's put an open contact for toggle switch. And then drag time on delay timer. We will put address for the timer as T4 colon 0. And for the preset value, we will put 10. This is the number of increment time that must count before the charging state of output. Now for rung 1, let's put an open contact and address as T4 colon 0 slash EN or enable bit. And then let's put an output coil and address as O colon 0 slash 0. For rung 2, let's put another open contact and address as T4 colon 0 slash TT or timer timing bit. Then output coil and address is O colon 0 slash 1. And for rung 3, another open contact and address is T4 colon 0 slash DN or done bit. And output coil address is O colon 0 slash 2. Let's download the program, and run in simulation. Ok, let's energize the toggle switch. As you can see, accumulate value is counting. When it reach 10 seconds, done bit timer will energize. When we de-energize toggle switch, accumulate value will reset to zero. This kind of timer means, delay turning on. After the input turns on, we wait till 10 seconds before activating an output. This is the most common timer being used on a PLC program. Now, let's go on to timer off delay, or T off. This type of timer is the opposite of the on delay timer. This one is delay turning off. After the input sees a target, an output will turn on. And when the input no longer see the target, it hold the output for a certain seconds, before it turns off. As you can see, when accumulate value reach 10 seconds, output 0 slash 1 and 2 will turn off. The retentive timer on. It counts time base intervals, when the instruction or input is true, and retains the accumulated value when the instruction goes false, or when cutting off power supply. We have to reset the timer T4 colon 0, so we will put reset instruction in the program. When accumulate value reach 10 seconds, it will not reset even you cut the power by stop button. Not unlike the T on instruction, it will automatically reset the accumulated time upon a transition from high to low. The RTO will simply pause the accumulated value during this transition. In other words, the timer will retain the value it currently has, until it is energized again or forced to reset. This is the end of our episode for today. Please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell, to notify you when there's a new video uploaded. See you on our next episode of PLC Basic Programming. This is Third Martian. Thank you for watching.